Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm not the one to be on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making an easy ginger garlic glazed pork. So we're going to need our pork here. This is our pork. We're going to use this pork. We're going to use salt, of course. We need honey. We need black peppercorns. We need white vinegar. If you don't have white vinegar, you can use um, rice vinegar. We're going to use a chili garlic sauce and of course we're going to use our olive oil and of course the ginger garlic paste that i just made right now this is freshly made and we're going to finish it up with some nice green onions and some roasted peanuts okay so we will serve it with brown rice and chakalaka <laughs> if you missed the chakalaka video it's on my channel that's a south african kind of uh, reddish so we're going to serve it with that and brown rice so i will start by marinating our actually just seasoning our pork and putting some um, ginger garlic paste to it putting some garlic ginger paste to it One sec. so put some salt Just sprinkle some nice salt. Here you go. Take your black pepper corn. Just crush some black pepper there. I put black pepper in almost everything. This is going to be delicious. There you go, guys. Just be generous with the black pepper. <laughs> and then we're going to put some garlic and ginger paste don't use all because we're going to use some on the pan when we're cooking it we're going to use some so just use some garlic ginger paste now massage your pork just mix it well it nicely make sure that the garlic and ginger have been mixed nicely into the pork this is going to give a very nice flavor to our pork. Now guys, we're going to sear this. We're going to sear this in uh, the pan. We, we need a big pan, heavy skillet. So we're going to use a heavy skillet to sear this pork. Then um, let's head to the, our stove and we'll start this. So put your heavy pan or heavy skillet on your stove and put some olive oil. Make sure your pan is very hot, heat it through. Just some, put some oil. We're going to really sear this pork. Just sear the pork, make sure. You can see our oil is very hot. You can see that. Our oil is very hot. So now we're going to put our pork like this. You can hear, you can hear that sizzle. There you go. Make sure you sear it nicely to lock in the juices of the pork. So you press it up. I'm using my hand so that you can have all the pork can be seared evenly. There you go. So guys, one thing that you should note though is that um, this pork, we're not going to like fully cook it. We're going to cook it like we want, we want it to brown to be crispy on the outside but a bit pink in the inside because we're still going to cook it inside the glaze okay so don't really like completely cook this pork because it's going to be dry at the end so we're going just to make sure that um we just brown the sides we brown the top like we lock in the juices inside then now we're going to cook it with the glaze 
so come come in let's uh, flip this you can see very nice brown as you can see it's very nice just turn this fork so that it locks in the juices from the other side also So now our pork is ready as you can see nice brown color now we're going to remove this pork remember we're going to use the same we're going to use the same oil the same everything here just to make our sauce you see the, the soups that have formed here as you can see the soups that are formed here we're going to use them for our glaze okay So all of this is coming from, all of this oil is coming from the pork itself. So this is flavor from the pork. Don't throw this away. Just reduce the heat because um, it's very hot right, right now. I'm going to put it to a four. I'm trying to get to remove this soup here because we need it. We need it for our sauce. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let me just start with it. So now we're going to make our glaze. We're going to make our glaze. Be very careful with this oil. You might burn yourself. So for the glaze, we'll start with um, our garlic ginger paste. Be careful because this garlic ginger paste is very watery. Yeah? So when you put it here, it's going to really um, sizzle here, as you can see. Make sure you don't burn it. Don't, don't, don't burn your garlic and ginger. So just mix it up real quick. You can even remove from the pan, from the hot plate, so that you don't burn your garlic and ginger. Okay. This is why we're going to glaze our pork with. So make sure you don't burn the garlic and the ginger. There you go. Okay, add your sauce. This is the chili garlic sauce mix it nicely okay uh-huh yeah add your vinegar just use like a Two of this don't put too much vinegar that's it that's enough then put your honey it's going to make a very nice glaze for the pork it's going to be a bit spicy it's like a sweet and sour kind of thing there you go this is going to make our glaze Guys, remember I just removed it from the heat because I don't want it to burn. Okay. You're gonna put it back on your hot plate and then let it cook down. This looks good. Just reduce the heat to three. So we're going to just let this reduce for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Then while it's reducing, we're going to roast our peanuts.
give it a few seconds while our sauce is reducing. I will crack it later on. So our sauce is still reducing here, you can see. Still reducing and we're not going to add any kind of salt here so we're going to add some soy sauce to this we're going to add some freshly brewed soy sauce just a bit of the soy sauce just for the flavor there you go that's just like a tablespoon of soy sauce not too much there you go and then our peanuts are roasting nicely You can see it's already roasting. You can see it's turning brown. There you go. You don't need to roast it for very long. So we're just going to put this off. Our peanuts are ready. You can put them on the side going to use them for something else we're going to crush them and add them to our sauce so now we can put this back here and bring our glaze here next to us make sure you keep stirring your glaze because it's going to burn if you don't okay now um, we're going to add our pork so that the rest of the part is um, the rest of, of it the rest of the cooking process is with the pork itself so just stir it nicely so that the glaze covers the pork. Give it time to reduce. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to cover this for a while and let it cook. There you go. Meanwhile, guys, as the glaze, uh, the pork is uh, finishing to cook. We're going to put some water. We're going to put some water in for um, our brown rice. So when you're cooking brown rice, you don't really need to measure your water. So brown rice, um, you just need to like it does it does it doesn't double up. It doesn't absorb water. So you just put uh, more water than you put when you're cooking like rice. When you're cooking the white rice itself, you have to may maybe two cups for. Two cups of rice, you put like four cups of water, right? But when it comes to brown rice, you just have to flood, flood your pot with water, then let your brown rice boil, okay? There is one thing that I like when I'm making my brown rice. I like putting some um, lemon juice inside it. I feel like it gives it a better taste, you know? So we're going to boil our water here. Then we're going to add in some lemon juice and we're going to add some salt to this. So while our pork is finishing to cook we're going to be preparing for brown rice and then I'm also going to start crushing our peanuts over here so I'll put our peanuts here so that we can crush it and use it for um, our garnish for the pork Okay, so I will crush it. Nicely. You don't need to be you don't need it to be very fine. We're just crushing it to be a bit smaller than it is normally. As you can see it's coming out real nice. There you go, see?
that will be enough for us that is enough crushing so now this is what we're going to use put it on the side and continue with your other stuff and how, how do you know when it's ready there you go you can see this our pork is glazed nicely we just need it to cook until like until the the, the sauce is uh, nicely reduced okay I just covered it so that the, cook, the pork can cook uh, inside, no? through. The pork can cook through. Because before, remember, when I was uh, searing the pork, it, I, I didn't see it complete. I didn't uh, see it to cook it. I just seared it so that we can lock the juices in, okay? Because we need it to be tender inside but crispy on the outside. So now we're just going to make this uh, such that our glaze is reduced, okay? We need it sticky and we need it uh, nice and sticky is nice for our pork right now so just open it up like this and let it just reduce let it reduce just give it some give it some time you will know when it's ready you will see when it's ready let it just cook through then guys our water is starting to boil over here so yeah we're going to add our lemon juice huh so we will add our lemon juice just squeeze lemon there you go make sure you don't have any seeds inside just squeeze your lemon take another lemon we're just going to use one lemon There you go. Put some salt in this. Brown rice is healthy rice. That's why we opted to go for the brown rice instead of using white rice. So we're going to use the brown rice with the pork and chakalaka sauce chakalaka relish i was told it's not a sauce it's a relish so chakalaka relish so now um let's just give time for the water to boil and for the pork to finish glazing guys now our pork is ready we're going to finish it off with our green onion nice and the back. Very nice. Just put in your green onion just for the flavor. And some nuts. There you go, guys. There is your pork. That is your ginger and garlic glazed pork for you guys, as you can see. Looks nice. And we are done, guys. So we are going to serve this up with our brown rice. As you can see, our brown rice is also ready. Very nice, very fluffy, very delicious. Our brown rice is also very ready. I'm going to serve this, this pork with brown rice and chakalaka sauce. So let's serve this one real quick. So guys, now we have come to the end of our video. We made our garlic and ginger glazed pork. And uh, this is how it looks like. This is the final product, as you can see. We finished it off with uh, some green onion and some peanuts, as you can see here. It's going to be very delicious. We're going to serve it with our brown rice. Here is our brown rice and our south african chakalaka sauce so if you haven't still watched the chakalaka sauce how to make it it's on my channel so go check it out and uh, so yeah that's it if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now uh, please subscribe to my channel share the video press the like button leave a comment 
and if you would like me to make uh, another kind of video just put it in the comment section below follow me on my new social media platforms i have one on instagram it's called cook jungle and i have another one i have a page on facebook which is facebook.com slash cook jungle so till next time we're going to enjoy this bye bye and god bless you